Listen, if you've recently moved or have moved a moving service to change your address in recent times, you know how annoying and frustrating it is to check your mail and see mail from previous tenants, especially if you're renting. It's annoying. And also, if you want to be a good citizen and not just toss people's mail in the trash, then this video is for you because we're going to be talking about how to stop getting mail from previous tenants and how to make sure that the people who live in your unit before you get their mail and eventually you stop getting their mail. Because what's more, the post most offices most likely they're not not aware of these things I mean they process millions and millions of mail for millions and millions of people daily so helpful tips in this video on how to stop getting mail from previous tenants we're gonna talk about it stay tuned let's get into it What's going on y'all? My name is Reflex. This is my corner of the internet where I talk about renting and rentals life. If you enjoy that kind of content, definitely subscribe. I'm outside today. It's sunny and uh, this video is for y'all, man. It's, I'm sweating. So definitely hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so I can go inside where it's air conditioning and enjoy my beautiful studio that you helped me build. Let's get into it. So for tip number one for status, I have here my mailbox open. If you get mail from previous tenants that no longer live here, you want to get a pen. I usually just leave a pen, you know, right here in my, in my mailbox the post office they take it from time to time but it's all right pen you know you just leave it in there there's a couple of things that you want to write on the mail that does not belong to you to make the post office know that that person no longer lives here for one you want to write return to sender or person no longer leaves here. sometimes it's better to write them on a sticky note use a rubber band or you know paper clip and clip it on the envelope that way you're not messing up anything that is self important on the mail but sometimes i just write it right on there return to sender or recipient no longer leaves there you write it real clean and just put it back in the outgoing mailbox and it will go back to the post office and let them know that that person no longer lives there it's that simple for tip number one how to stop getting mail from previous residents tip number two is simple enough most likely a mail will come with a barcode that looks like this and what you want to do is cross that out that would just let the post office you want to cross it out and put it back in the outgoing mail what that would let the post office know is that this mail is no longer deliverable that person does not live here so take that pen that you stash up in there and cross that barcode out cross it out because most mail will come with that barcode it's that simple cross out that barcode right there put it back in the outgoing mail and it will let them know that this mail is no longer deliverable how to stop getting mail from previous residents if you're a renter tip number three is put a sticky note just something real easy like what i demonstrate here a sticky note with your last name your uh flatmate's name your wife your spouse name just put a sticky note to let the post office person know that listen this is the person who lives here that other person does not live here this one may or may not work they just overlook it look it's a long day they're delivering hundreds if not thousands of mails they're not paying attention to that they just want to put it in there if the address matches they just want to put it in there but it definitely has worked for me in the past it's one of the first things that i do i just put a sticky note or just a little you know label that says this is the name of the person that lives here and this is the mail that deserves to be here now here's another tip this one is really easy i had to switch the camera up for this one it's really to just speak to your mail carrier they deliver thousands and thousands of mail, like I said in my previous tip. So really, if they, most likely and they're not, it will be the same person who delivers mail in your community. So you wanna to speak to them, let them know what your name is, let them know what your mailbox is, let them know that this person that you've been receiving this many amount of mails from, no longer lives here and they will most likely remember that i've done that in the past i spoke to her let her know what my last name is what my unit number is and let her know like hey john doe no longer lives here and uh, it's just flooding on my mailbox they won't understand most likely or not they will stop delivering that person's mail to your mailbox so definitely speak to your mail carrier let them know who lives here who no longer lives there and that would definitely help now i know it's annoying especially when you just move you keep getting mail from previous tenants but We've talked about things that you should do, some things that you should do to help the situation, how you can stop getting mail from previous tenants. Now let's talk about things that you should absolutely not do. This is just being a good citizen, just being a good neighbor, and also with things that help, will help you. So these are things that you should absolutely not do. I know it's annoying, you keep opening your mailbox and mail, you just keep getting all kind of, these are things that you should not do. Number one, no matter how many mails you get, I know it can get annoying. Look, I've come in my mailbox sometimes and this mail is up on mail galore and none of them belong to me. Do not throw them away. Over there is where you throw, right here, is where you throw mail that is trash. You know, like the, like this guy's right here. Yeah, that's where you throw them. But if it's somebody's mail, you wanna make sure do not throw it away. 
It could be a ticket. It could be a court summon. It could be something important. And it could be you who moved and you recently just got mail delivered to your previous address because you forgot. People forget, right, to change their addresses. Don't throw it away. It's an outgoing mailbox. It will go back to the mailbox, the, to the post office. They will mail it out to the person's new address. Do not throw it away because it's just being a good citizen. It's just being a good neighbor. Put it in the outgoing mailbox, not in the trash mailbox. Number two of things you should not do when you receive mail from the previous tenants is do not open it. If my wife gets annoyed when I open her mail, I mean, I'm her husband. We live in the same house and I would get annoyed sometimes too when I live with my parents and they open my mail. It's like, bro, I'm an adult. Let me sort my stuff out. Let me open my mail. I got this right and also when you open the mail it makes it harder to put it back in the outgoing mailbox and deliver it to the person whose mail it belongs to so definitely if it's not yours look at the name if it's not yours don't open it just put it right return to sender right on there person no longer lives here in a sticky put it on there clip it whatever you do do not open it and do not put it in the trash mail slot now another thing or number three of what you should not do to help not getting mail from previous tenants is trying to fill out the address of the person it's a new address now i know like i said and things that you should do is to keep a pen in your mailbox what you don't want to do is write the person's new address if you know it in my apartment unit here we recommend people if you recommend somebody you get you know points so you can save on your rent sometimes i move out and people who move into my unit are people that i actually know whom i've recommended you don't want to write their new address on there even if you know it it just makes it all the more difficult to deliver it to the person's new address like i said just write person no longer lives here return to sender or cross out the barcode and put it back in the outgoing mail slot that way it makes it easier for the post office usps to deliver it to the person's new address and lastly if you've exhausted all this method nine times out of ten one of these will work one of these will definitely make sure your mailbox gets mail that you deserve mail that comes to you and your family and not the previous tenants mail one thing that you can do if you've exhausted all these methods is definitely file a complaint with usps or whoever in your state is handling your mail file a complaint you can do by phone you can do it by mail you can do it by email definitely contact them file a complaint let them know listen you've spoken to the mail carrier you've put a sticky in your mailbox let them know whose mail belongs in your mailbox and whose mail does not belong on there you've crossed out barcodes you've written person no longer lives there. you've done all that you haven't trashed any mail you've put them in the outgoing mail slots and you just keep receiving previous tenants mail definitely file a complaint and let your USPS or whoever carries your mail in your state know that this person is whose mail deserves to be in that mailbox. So there it is, quick tips on how to stop getting previous tenants mail. I apologize for the noise I'm outside today, wanted to make it more practical. I'm in my mailbox. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Let me know some tips that I've said in this video definitely help you. Some tips that I haven't mentioned in this video that people should know, leave them in the comment section. This is a community. I enjoy your help. Like this video, thumbs it up, subscribe to the channel. My name is Reflex. I'll see you on the next one. Closing my mailbox. Peace.